Hello, it's Sarah. Look at that. Look at the shine coming off of that. <laughs> um, working on another mosaic. I went to Michael's yesterday and I got, I spent $25. Um, I didn't really mean, I didn't want to. I just needed more clay. I had an idea for a uh, water theme. So I first thought I was going to use um, a mold to make these, oops, this is one of my frames that's just drying. I, I first thought I was going to use this mold. It has sea creatures, so there's like a whale, a, you know, a couple. I did a, um, I did a paper mache box with these shapes, and I thought, okay, I could do that. Then I started going through my stash, of course, and I had a lot of um, charms that had to do with ocean theme, you know, sea creatures and things like that. So that was cool. I also came across these bubbles. And these are, um, I have paint on my hand. These are buttons. They're in the button section, dress it up, and they come just the bubbles, but I glued them with glossy accents to these little mirror tiles that I had in my stash. I have, they just come, I think they're over by the soaps like the soap section, but I bought these a while ago thinking, oh, little mirror tiles, I'll put them on, you know, and I came across them in, as I'm going through everything, and I thought, ooh, they would go right on there, so I'm loving that for my underwater theme. Uh, so I bought five clays, because the thing, it, the clay is still, if you buy five, I think you get like 50 cents off, I, I'm not sure, they're too... Two twenty-three dollars per pack when you buy five instead of, I don't even know. It might even, I don't know. So I did buy a white. I bought two of these, two of these, and one dark blue. So I bought six packs because I wanted to buy more white. I did end up finding a little piece of white, and it was kind of dirty. But I knew I was going to paint the tiles anyway, so I painted a bunch I love, I love working with this color scheme. So when I did my breast cancer awareness one, I thought, I can do this for any theme. You know, you can just pick a theme. What the heck is that? I heard a bong. <laughs> bong. Um, let me look at my camera, make sure, yeah, everything's going. Uh, and then it just occurred to me, so then when I found all these cute little underwater themes, and I had these in my stuff, I had a lot... See, guys, listen, I've been collecting stuff for three years, basically. I've been mostly clearance because I go to the clearance section and just grab, like, these are definitely from the clearance section. They're little, I think they're called sliders. They're in the bead section, um, and they're blues. So this was more of a green blue, and this is a blue blue. Um... I did buy two packs of charms yesterday, the charm alongs. They were buy one, get one, 50% off. So this is where some of the money comes in because I think it's like five bucks a pack, but you get six charms, five or six, right? So I got buy one and buy one, get one. So these were really cool. They were kind of beachy. Um, I have escape, breathe, and relax. And I just love them because they're two-tone. I mean, sometimes things just appeal to me, and I, I don't know. And then I got one other set of beachy, um, let's see, I think, I don't even know which ones they were now. They might be, let me think, let me think. There were definitely, I had one pack of sea creatures, and this came with a pack of sea creatures. So it probably came with the starfish. And this, something like that. It was a, like a five or six pack. So I just embedded all of those, all my charms I embedded in the clay. And I used, this is actually uh, glitter. No, let's see. Oh, it's blue pearl. And it's super pretty. It is. It just has like a pearlescence to it. Hopefully I've been in the shot because I'm working over here now. I don't know. Um, all right. So, then I did get this kind of um, teal, I guess you want to call it, color. And I had this stamp in my stash and thought that looked, would look cool. So, I just stamped it. I didn't do any stamping with ink for this project so far. 
um, and I just stamped this and put some I have Inca gold this is the the turquoise and it just made a pop um, and I did the same thing with I got I had a pack of buttons mermaid buttons and these are actually really kind of cutesy compared to some to the metal like it's definitely it'll play together but anyway um, I put an impression in that with my curly Q thing and used steel blue ink of gold on that and that's what they look like and then I added stickles to the girls and some of the shells and stuff but basically I did pull some flowers I have these um, they're big acrylic flowers and I think they were just too big I don't know I just didn't like them as much. Uh, I still have a cut, like I have a pelican. I have a few things I didn't use. Um, but for the most part, oh, here's the flowers that I used. And I think I'm missing one. I dropped, I just had a rough, a rough, anyway, I dropped them. I might have dropped one of them, or it could be in there. And I'm saving it for later. But um, these, I'm just in love with these. These little acrylic, they're, uh, I don't have any that I didn't embed yet. Is my head in there? Oh, but you you saw these on the um, pink ones too, and I just love how they look. And I embedded them in the dark blue. But the painted ones, I love how the painted ones turned out. I did these with white Sculpey three. You guys, you gotta use Sculpey three. Is this Sculpey three says Sculpey, and there's a little three next to it. Okay. Either use Sculpey 3 or Primo. This is a Sculpey product too. Primo by Sculpey. Um, and this happens to be bronze. Oh, copper. I was thinking I would add that. Um, but I have, like Pam, bought a big block. I saw it in her haul of the Sculpey. Just the original Sculpey. And that's more for sculpting. Like if you're going to cover something and you just want to, it is so soft, you're not going to be able to make tiles. It's going to be too soft and sticky. So you need to get, return that and get Sculpey 3. Um, or, like you can get a big block of that too. I have big blocks of that. And, and you can use a coupon. Um, but even Sculpey 3 right now on a warm day, it's going to be really sticky. Like this is Sculpey 3 and I can take it out of the pack and just squish it. Like that's how soft it is. It's soft. So that's harder to work with, believe it or not, when you're trying to sh make it stay in a square or something like that. The Primo is a lot firmer. Let me see. I mean, it moves, which you kind of do want, but it's much firmer and better for if you're, I'm, I'm just, I just FYI, okay? I also bought two more of these frames, and these are a dollar at Michael's, and uh, so, but I spent $25, and then I was thinking, well, how the heck am I going to sell these, you know? I got to charge, like, $25. I have to, and you know what? I hate it's so hard for me to to, <clears throat> to make prices on things, but honestly, after all the work that I put into this, it is worth that. Like, people might not agree or understand that, <clears throat> but it definitely, um, I took all day, well, not all day, see, I mean, it probably took me, I want to say five hours, off and on, you know, all told up, right? You know, first I had to glue these bubbles on the tiles. Then I embed, you know, and it's just, and then you bake it and you wait. And so it takes time. So over the day, I would come in here and I would just do a little bit at a time. You paint, you, you sand, you prep the piece, the wood piece. You have to sand it and paint the wood piece, um, you know. And I mean, it's not, it doesn't just happen. You know, I have to, to do, you know, anyway. I'm just going to have to charge what I charge. And if people want it, they want it. It's not like, you know, I love it. I think this is so cute. I can't even take it. <clears throat> so I have a couple of mermaids. <clears throat> I have one dolphin. See, because I want to save 
a couple things for my other one because I got two. I'm going to try and get two out of this, um, all these tiles, which I still have a lot of clay left. Um, I don't have very many um, charms left. I have these three words, so I'll do them. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I think I pulled everything. So, And then I would have to paint more tiles, too. I had one more I wanted to use. I'm going to save the dolphin. I think I'm just going to use a shell. So I kind of wanted to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> I think I'm more allergic in the, in the fall than I am in the spring, believe it or not. I have been feeling very congested. All right, so that's like my dark clay right now. I'm going to put a flower. A flower. Like right now, I'm just kind of putting a dark. See, I could I think I did have another one of them. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just do two for now. Um, and then I will start putting. Um, I have these, the jewelry ones. I'm going to have to double check my tiles because <clears throat> I do feel like I dropped, when I dropped them, I might have, um, might be under some furniture or something. But yeah, so all you got to do is start pulling tiles, or I mean, not tiles, things from your stash jewelry findings, um, buttons, uh, anything that goes with your theme. And then you start piecing your, your puzzle together. So that's what I do. Um, Got these words, which I love. These just are, these just appeal to me um, the way they're made, you know. Then I have these, home is where the beach is. Isn't that cute? I think I kind of want to put that over here. <clears throat> and then this one says, make a wish on a starfish. And then I have a starfish, so let's see where he is. Uh, here. Put him. Kind of near it, right? Let's see. I love this guy. My seahorse. Uh, these are cool. Sand dollars. Oh, I love a sea turtle. A crab. I have octopus. A fish. I like this angel fish. Um, I like the sand dollar. I want to put it. See, now what I'm finding is that my the colors of clay are very similar, so I have to stop thinking that I'm going to have nothing touching, like no of the, none of the same colors touching type thing, you know? So here's a lovely anchor, and I think, see, this is very silver, so I want to put this over here. Just, I don't know why. I like it. Um, I have a shell. See, I need some more silver. Here's another octopus, a silver octopus. And I can put, I have a shell, a fish, and a sea turtle left. I'm not going to use, I want to save these for my other one. So I'm going to start putting uh, some of my painted tiles in. Try to find one that will fit right there. Like that. So that's what you do. You just start piecing the puzzle together. I have these big ones, which I like. I like these a lot. Ooh, so that fits perfect. See, it takes up that whole um, 
These, to fill the sides sometimes can be tricky. Maybe I'll do that here. That's good. Um, I have another big one right here. And then I have, I have more of them in there, but I just pulled these. Um, that's how it starts to come together, though. You just start, it is literally like a puzzle that you just have to start putting together. And, and you know, sometimes it takes a minute. It's a little small. And a lot of times I uh, start at one section and just work my way around. That's really like my, the way I do it um, when I do it usually. Here's one that I could put right. Try to find something that will fit right there. A little small but oh I forgot about my bubbles see that's the other thing I should have put a bubble in between like I want a bubble all around I have a lot of bubbles that's why so I can put a bubble in between a lot of places forgot about you bubbles um, I think I'm gonna put a bubble here And then put you there. And so I have bubble bubble. <laughs> See, I have a lot of bubbles. But so like just to, to get an overview, let's we'll zoom in a little bit. But that's how it starts to come together. <clears throat> so I am going to go away and glue it. And I'll come back and show you the finished. All right, be right back. Okay, it's not glued, but I think I am gonna go with this. Now, here's the thing. I only have this many tiles left over. That's not enough probably for another mirror. So honestly, you guys need to do <clears throat> at least five blocks of clay. Like make tiles with five blocks of clay. And, I mean, then you probably have enough tiles to fill this size frame twice, hopefully. Um, you know, it's a lot. So that's what I mean. That's why I'm going to charge a decent amount. And I can't say, I don't know how much it's going to be. 25 I think. It's a lot of work. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's a total keepsake for, you know... All right, so that's it. I'm going to sign off for now, and thanks for watching.